put down the court and then obviously the two shooters. I've been really impressed by the shooters during this World Cup. Overall, the shooting mm. average is quite high. It um, really is. So definitely not losing any games in the circles uh, due to shots. Yes, indeed. And we're trusting them today, knowing that they're going to bring all of the heat. And I want to ask you, Chenna, real quick, in terms of where you think that we can 100% just, not only be strong, but where we can look at in terms of us possibly taking this 100% from New Zealand. Because like we know, they're going to be a challenge. I won't stop saying it because it's true. Um, no pressure, but I'm... Going with our defence, I think our defence um, lineup is very strong, mm. it's the strongest that we have. But also, I think with with that guidance from Wong Yong Sung, she plays such a pivotal role on centre because she can link both sides so well. Mm. So I think that communication on our defence might just just be the force that we're looking for to stop New Zealand from winning. And your score prediction, China? My score prediction is going to be 42. 47 to South Africa. I love that. That's very, very precise, my girl. I like it indeed. We are so glad that we get to be with you. Like we said, the date with Destiny that we waited for for years. And now, finally, we get to do this together, South Africa. Remember that the conversation continues on social media. It is at SABC underscore sport and use hashtag Game Change Her. Let us know what your predictions are. And also, give the Proteas all the love they need, even on the social media streets. A date with Destiny? Let's get to it. We get to it all. It's okay. Color, the crowds, the Western Cape. 16 nations are here for the 16th Netball World Cup in South Africa for the first time and being brought to you by an all-female crew for the first time. Here for her is the theme. The International Convention Centre in Cape Town is the venue. It's a beautiful day as the crowds arrive. Day six of competition. And this is what they're all coming in for. It is... South Africa, the home side. No wonder there's so many of them coming up against New Zealand. Well, this game so important to the semi-final hopes of both countries. South Africa versus New Zealand. And of course, both teams have had adversity this week. New Zealand the first to lose shoot-up, Grace Wecky. And then of course, the next day, South Africa lost Lanise Pokita. And there is the woman who replaced Wecky, Tiana Maturo, with me in commentary, Vanessa Dutoy, birthday girl in fact. Oh, Jenny. I don't want to reveal how old I am, but I'll take the birthday wish. Thank well, you. Well, that's right. I mean, where would you rather be than at a game like this? I couldn't ask for a better birthday. I mean, watching my favourite team, South Africa, playing, getting off the bus at the moment um, versus, you know, the defending champions. Couldn't have written a better script for my birthday. And there is the one and only, the great Carla Pretorius. And another one and, another one and only, Norma Plummer. And... Nicole Kusak, her able assistant here coaching South Africa. And you can imagine it is loud in this stadium. Here are the standings. So Jamaica, they have just accounted for Trinidad and Tobago in fine style. So they are safely through to the semi-final.
But now here is the question mark. New Zealand versus South Africa. Whoever wins this will go a long way towards securing that spot. Huge contingent of New Zealand fans here in the stadium. In fact, the stadium is sold out. 5,000 people in capacity. You can see there Maya Wilson stepping in to the gold shooter position. She'll be accompanied by Ekanasio. But what has been so impressive for New Zealand has been the defensive work of Jury Karaka and Berger. Let's have a word now from Tapaya Selby Rickett. By a rest day yesterday, but two tough games that are still to come. One against the host here today. How have you prepared ahead of it? Yeah, we had a nice um, day off in the afternoon yesterday. In the morning, we had a gym session and a, just a light training. Um, we've known we're going to come up against these two teams. Two tough games coming for us, uh, up for us today and tomorrow, so we're really looking forward to it. Haven't lost a quarter yet in the competition and a chance to secure a semi-final spot here today. What are the instructions from Dame Knowles today? She wants us to be really calm and clinical and calculated on attack. And on D, we've got the defensive set up to um, really get some balls. So we'll be looking forward to doing that. The home crowd is going to be behind South Africa. How much of that is going to be playing in your mind? Yeah, we've talked about the noise. It's going to be super loud in there. Um, their crowd's been amazing this whole tournament, getting right behind them. Um, so we're prepared for that. We've trained for the last six weeks um, in preparation for this game. So we're ready. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. of the South African team or the South African crowd. So here are the preliminary results so far from New Zealand. As Andy Mahamba mentioned, they haven't dropped a quarter. And Torua has just been revolving her combinations and working away nicely. You can see Deb Spuller, her assistant coach, in the background there. And there is just a smidgen of this massive South African crowd here. And they love their sport, South Africa. Here's the lineup. Yep, we've got that combination of Maweni and Pretoria is back in a goal defensive circle. We see a start for Stradorn, which is really exciting. She's only got four caps with the player of the match under the belt, making a debut year at the Netball World Cup. Captain Fantastic, Bongiem Somi on that centre. Wing attack, great start for Izet Griesel. And then Nicole Talyard and Inamiri Fenter the goal shooters that will be taking those balls to the post. Well, let's have a listen now to what Carla Pretorius had to say as she came into the arena. Carla Pretorius getting your 100th cap yesterday. Speaking of experience, six, including yourself, of the pro tiers playing in the 2019 Netball World Cup beating Jamaica. How much will you rely on that experience? Um, that's going to play a big part. Um, we, the six of us, knew what it took and how it felt, and obviously being shared with the others. But knowing that the young ones or the new ones bring something else to the group, which is um, contributing to the strength of the group. So we know that today is going to be a tough battle, but we're looking forward to that challenge, and we want to go all the way. You had wonderful games against Wales and Sri Lanka, building to this very highly anticipated game. A lot ri riding on this. Yes, um, we knew that this is going to be a tough game, so we were happy that we had the opportunity during those games to test out different combinations and work on a few things. But today is, I think, going to be a different, I know it's going to be a different ball game and it's going to take a 60-minute effort from all, the, from all the players on court, even the ones on, off coming from the bench. So, but we are ready and good to go. Bye, Starto. Thank you. Well, Carla Pretorius, I have lost track of the number of games I have seen her win. Simply with her ability to win ball in the air, they've only dropped one game. That was the game against Jamaica, 67-49. And I wonder, Vanessa, if that will sort of steal this team together. I think um, the loss against Jamaica was a hard hit for everyone um, in South Africa. But I mean, look at the scores against Trinidad, Tobago, Sri Lanka and Wales. And you could see that Bruno Plummer had been trying different combinations just to settle in those er in certain areas. We've had a loss of, you know, Lenny Sportgerde. You mentioned that earlier, Jenny. And I think it's important that everybody just knows that we've all built up to this game. This is the one that South Africa must win. And there's a spare wing attack in the crowd should New Zealand need her but wow fabulous atmosphere here at the international convention center here South come the team take on court for team new zealand we've got on go 
Rose with Tamaya Wilson, on goal at Tech Amelia Eganasio, wing attack Gina Kempton, centre Kate Hyperman, on wing defence Karen Berger, on goal defence Phoenix Kataraka, on goalkeeper Kelly Jury, and the coach of this team is Nurlan Taurua. For our second team for today, South Africa, on goal shooter we've got Anna Marie Fenter, on goal attack Nicole Chariot, on wing attack Lizard Krasna, on centre Bongi Wem Somi, on wing defence Jensen Stradom, on goal defence Carla Pretorias, and on goalkeeper Bumza Maweni. And the coach for this team is Noma Pilama. So the 14 players take their place on the court. There is, well, the great Bongi Imsomi. I have almost lost track of how many years she has led the South African side. And there are the umpires. Gary Burgess on the left, Josh Bowring on the right. And Louise Travis will be to the in ball delivery. with it. Brought to you by Spa and Telcom. Today we've got Inam. Amani Moses from Bonteville, the 11 year old. Her favorite player is Bongi oh, What a great Sami. moment to deliver the ball to her favorite player. And that's really special. Guns away here at the International Convention Center. It is South Africa in possession against New Zealand. A oh, lovely ball up and over the New Zealand defence, but she's missed it. And she'll get another attempt, though. That one goes in. Former New Zealand captain Anna Stanley, you're on the sideline. You're getting a bird's eye view. What do these both these teams have to do? Well, I think today's match is brought to you by the letter C, Jen, because the team that are calm, calculated and clinical will win it. The crowd is just really pumping down here. I think the key matchup for me, Ekinasu on Pretorius, watch for that one. And I think defensively, if the Silver Ferns can continue their form, they only put in 10 turnovers, I think, in their last match. If they can apply that pressure and shut down this South African shooting end, uh, that'll be a good start. Vanessa, the key for South Africa? Well, I think South Africa, if we can lower our error rates, like Anna did allude to, what a wonderful goal there. First touch by Nicole Taliar. It's just lowering the error, error rates and not giving New Zealand as many possession options, just with not giving them a ball because New Zealand also has a way of retaining possession. So not giving South Africa a lot of opportunity. So every opportunity that South Africa has the ball, we need to shoot and, we need, and South Africa will need to capitalize on that. And that was a great hold by Wilson Maweni. She's been called. That's a great shot. Mm, Pretorius and Pumzama Winnie. They were a great combination for the Sunshine Coast Lightning for a number of years in Australia. Mawini now back playing her netball in the UK Super League. There's a mistake from South Africa. Shooter. New Zealand's Run doing really well, forcing South Africa wide. They have set up a zone, but they're really pushing the, the attackers of South Africa quite wide. And those balls will need to be so clinical with, won't be able to risk it. Oh, this is good defence here from South Africa. New Zealand they have to be very careful. That's the other C word, Annie. Yeah, there's a few C words. But I think it's Karaka and Berger doing a good job bringing that ball through court, just as the South Africans were applying some good pressure. But if they can get the ball back to Ekinasio, she's safe, she's solid under the hoop. So 3-2, early advantage to New Zealand. Only a few minutes gone though. Oh, this is good from South Africa, really not giving them that first lead option. So making sure that New Zealand has to play back. And New Zealand's got ample of time. I mean, they've got patience for days. 
and they will make sure that this, the, the pass that they do correctly pass is safe and sound and careful Anna that's my word for the day careful passing and controlled and that was a good controlled pass into Wilson at the back works when Wilson splits the circle comes through the middle so South Africa here they need to score off this one they don't want New Zealand to race out to any kind of lead because the last time they played that was in January at the quad series and they beat them by 20. Well, Taliad for me, great start. I've been really impressed with what this young goal attack has put out on court for South Africa. I was talking to Nicole Kusak the other day. She was a good, pretty tidy goal attack in her day when she played for Australia and I'm sure she's giving all her knowledge to the young goal attack, Taliad. Yeah, the crowd riding that back pass. Yeah, South Africa definitely slowing down New Zealand on their attacking side. We spoke about patience, but on the other side, looking, not getting that first Even option, so contact. really good defensive effort once again. Well, patience starts with P, not C. <laughs> Composure. Took me a while. One step back, keeper beside. Now, Ekanasio taking almost Down too much time, I might have thought, with that one. 5-3, early lead, almost five minutes gone in this first quarter. And of course, South Africa had that famous victory over New Zealand back in 1995 in Birmingham. It is the only victory they've had. But boy, there have been some close games. And I think Heffernan could have let that go to Crampton. Yeah, they're just struggling a bit on first phase, the Silver Fern, so all credit to the South Africans. And they're really applying that pressure on that zero in first phase having to use their defence to bring the ball through. You can see Crampton and Ekanasio having to come up really high. So Crampton call for the offensive contact. Listen to the crowd. They will delight in that. Yeah, Jenny, South Africans seem to be very animated, very emotional. They feel every pass, they live every moment with the girls on court. Goal I defense. mean, that, that was quite evident. Her hands were all over Bongi. At the top, at the top so, inside. Good call. And look at the tussle here between Venter and Jury. Legs between legs. Venter finishes. <laughs> so five all. Oh, oh, and then unlucky South Africa there. It would have been a great phase of play, but Taliyad just couldn't keep, keep two hands on it. It certainly works when the Ferns play with a bit more ball speed and let it go on that first phase. I find that if they don't, it does affect the rhythm of their play. Oh, that's a nice piece of play from Maya Wilson in combination oh, with the centre. And that's Aaron Berger's parents here in the stand. And I'm sure they will be delighted not to have to fly around the world to watch her play. Beautiful start for Maya Wilson. Well, she put up 49 from 49 in the game against Wales. So she's coming in in some good form, Maya Wilson, as is this young lady here, Nicole Talliard. Yeah, she was impressive, wasn't she, in the quad series, Talliard? Contact, wing defence. Wing defence, contact. Well, there is another option on goal attack and Almeray van der Berg, as well as a way to Ngobane, but uh, Nicole Talia is really securing herself in that spot that just with the way of play. She's got so much creativity, and only on 21 caps at the moment, so she, can you imagine if she gets some caps and experience on their belt, how good 
How good. Oh, oh, and that's a great pick up. That was reward for some really tight New Zealand defence. Sorry to interrupt, Vaness. No, that was worth interrupting, Jenny. I would have interrupted myself. <laughs> Anna, we talked about the coaching subtleties, the tactics between Norma Plummer and Nolene Taru, and of course they go right back to ANZ Championship oh, days in the Trans-Tasman competition when Taru had the Waikato Bay of Plenty Magic, Plummer had the fever. Yeah, and we haven't seen many of the, the coaches make a huge, um, well we have, sorry, seen them make a lot of changes with the substitutions, but, you know, expect perhaps that we may see a, a bit more uh, of the seven staying on for at least a half. And I think that if changes are to be made, it's if there's a, a lead or if perhaps the team really needs to inject some energy. That's where the tactical minds of both Plummer and Todoa will come to the forefront. Well, that's as the stakes get higher, isn't it? Because these are games that you must win. Deb Fuller, assistant coach. 10-6. Five and a half minutes remaining in this first quarter. You can see Ferns just putting in a box defence there and really applying that pressure at the top of the circle. And South Africa are finding it a little bit hard to penetrate to the goal. Grizel doing a good job there to get that drive on. And Tariad, she's so good with the give and get. Nice play there. Inima Reventa, Inima Reventa helping with the block. Well, the turn of New Zealand to try and find a way into the best shooting position. Look at the hold from Wilson. She is so strong on the hold. Yeah, really good strong hold by Wilson. But what I like about her and the combination with Econazio is how they manage to split the defence. So there's always one open. It might be a lack of communication between Pumza Maweni and Carla Pretorius. Um, so a bit of a combination because I feel like it's too easy. The New Zealanders are, are really doing well to get that ball into the circle. And it is credit to the creativity of the goal shooters. The throw in outside South Africa. Yeah, good work from yeah. Heffernan. What an opponent she has tonight. That's it. Kate Heffernan. Bongi 163 tests tonight. And it's contact goal defence. Yeah, great hustle there from Kate Heffernan. She's strong in that centre position when it comes to the defence of her game. Fighting obstruction centre. Fighting contact forward centre. Again, it's just that first phase that is not quite connecting with the Spurns attack end. Moving to play it back quite a bit. So great defensive pressure from South Africa. Listen to the feet on the stands. And this is the benefit, isn't it, of a home World Cup, and that's yes. what comes up. Oh, that was brilliant to watch. Magnificent interception by Pumza Maweni, but you have to give credit to the South African defence. They really applied a lot of pressure. It needed to come at some point, because New Zealand wasn't going anywhere, and I think, in a, in a way, it was a collective interception in that occasion. But Pumza Maweni picking it up. Definitely feel like South Africa have got the momentum at the moment, especially on attack. It's getting it down much easier than the Silver Ferns. And let's see how New Zealand get on this time. Ikanasio and Wilson need to do a little bit more work off the ball. They're getting too tight on, the, on their contest, especially Wilson needs to perhaps provide a front option. Yeah, it's one thing to turn the ball and really work well on defence, but then you have to make sure it counts. It was an unfortunate miss by Emily Fainter, but it's oh. opportunities like that that New Zealand will punish you. Well, Maya Wilson being punished at the moment for that contact. She 
We'll have to watch that ball spin because that's the real strength of her game is that sealing off. And that's all she did there was seal off and presented and got pulled. So perhaps she'll have to change it up a bit. Contact, goal defence. Yeah, that was really sneaky, Jenny. And Nicole Talia definitely using the eighth player on the court, which is the post, to play against and get herself close. So a brilliant shot by the South Africans. And it's on the attack. Oh, oh great. Berger tipped it, but Inamari Venta, well, she had the length of arm to catch it. Stops him, both of you. Goalkeeper out of play. Advantage is out of play. So South Africa here to play. One goal in it. Just over one minute remaining. Advantage breaking. Goal attack. Oh, it's quite evenly matched on those 10 goals. Five goals apiece. And it's tit for tat, three to South Africa. And a really good run as well as three to New Zealand. Oh, another opportunity for South Africa. We need to be able to capitalize on these. And that's, that's what you want. Well, that was the great work of... Oh, and there you are, right back at you. Yeah, Pretorius got the ball and then Berger down the other Come end of court. So important that the Silver Step Ferns put defense. this one away. Just looking a little bit disjointed and disconnected down this attack end. The Ferns certainly haven't got into their rhythm yet. And there's the first miss of the game for New Zealand. Ekanasio over the top. Nine seconds this time here for South Africa. But they'll have to be quick, they've got to get it in. Oh, this is great work by the South Africans. And oh. there it is. They were not quick enough, but what a first quarter. It is so close between these two sides. At the break, it is New Zealand by a hair's breadth. 11-10 over South Africa. first quarter, Vaness, New Zealand. They got a few goals out to begin with, but then back came the South Africans. That woman's brought her binoculars. She will miss nothing. Yeah, she is not intending to miss anything, and I mean, if I look at my own eyesight, I'm going to borrow that from her very soon. Yeah, you see, right, no one's going to... Let's have a listen.
Welcome back to the International Convention Centre. This match, it has been looked forward to for weeks. I can tell you, New Zealand leading South Africa by just one goal. New Zealand returning to the court. And I don't think there are any changes from the Silver Ferns. And how about the Proteas? Yep, not picking up any changes. But um, if South Africa managed to win that first quarter, it would have been the first quarter that New Zealand would have lost in this Netball World Cup. So it was really close, but um, it is New Zealand with that one goal advantage going into the second half, second quarter. Obongi Msomi gets South Africa away. The top of this second quarter. They will be pleased that it's this close because obstruction when attack. they last played back in. Oh, that's nice. Oh, through the hands. Yeah. In an event are not having a totally happy time of it. Sorry, New Zealand. And that's disappointing, isn't it? Yeah, very disappointing to see, you know, catching miss, missing a shot. I don't know, anybody fainted. Contact wing attack. Is not looking like herself out there. Well, looking at the stats, I mean, South Africa is sitting on 17 penalties compared to New Zealand only on Offside. nine. It's quite a lot Offside. for one quarter. South Africa will have to clean up. Yeah, Offside. I totally agree, Vanessa. Defense. That was South one Lake. stat that caught my eye. So defense, something yeah. for the South Africans to watch getting into the second quarter. That obstruction, center. I have the coach of the Silver Ferns with me, Nolene Toto. Well, Noles, it was a close start. What did you make of it? Yeah, definitely a close start. I thought we started actually quite well. Uh, got two or three ahead of them. And I think some soft turnovers from us that weren't quite clear on the line that we took. Um, but we need to open up and get put more space. Yeah, on attack, it just looks like you just don't quite have that rhythm yet. Yeah, I think we're doing that ourselves, to be honest. But also, uh, uh, we've got to be able to get free off the body and do the work uh, in zero phase. Well, all the best, Noel. Thanks. So, 13-10, New Zealand leading. Early stage of second quarter. You get the feeling this game will go down to the wire. Goalkeeper, contact, move around. Where you step back, where you are now. South Africa can't be making mistakes and giving opportunity to New Zealand because New Zealand will New take Zealand. it. They will take it all the way. Well, Venta will be pleased with that one. So interesting what Noel said, that she feels that they need more space and it, it's like that down on court here. They're in front of me and it's like they're all battling to try and find where the space to drive into. Oh, Gina Crampton. This way, that way, then right contact. over. And that's a nice entry from Ekanasio, but she has to finish it, and she does. Oh, I see some frustration from the defensive side for South Africa. Pause, Miscommunication as they've been holding a one-on-one, -on -one, but as soon as the two shooters of New Zealand start crossing, they miss and they give Body that New Zealanders that opportunity to receive the ball straight in the stomach. So, better chat will need to take place between Pumza and Carla in that goal shooting circle to make any difference on the defence. A lovely high it's ball into Venta. Both out obstruction goalkeeper. Goalkeeper beside. New Zealand. Anna Marie Finta doing a great job on that baseline. Jury and Karaka need to goal defense. tighten up a little bit on their defense. Well, here's an opportunity to make the most of Pretorius being out. Messy ball, but Crampton cleans up. Still no shooters really in the circle for New Zealand. Yeah, good defensive work, South Africa. Much better from Heppen and, and Crampton getting on that edge, but boy, they're having to work hard for it, aren't they? They're not making oh. it easy. Great yeah. pressure. And that is a great lean from Carla Pretorius. And that is the reward. Held ball. Yep, the short, sharp that Norma Plummer referred to after that first quarter. You can see the give and goes. 
between the players, just keeping the ball alive and moving it swiftly down court. All to the one side of the court, very close to where you're sitting, Anna. Oh, and I think that was a bit of a smile from Norma Plummer. So, 14-13. Lovely pass. Well, South Africa, draw level. They're looking good in the second quarter. New Zealand looking disjointed. They are. Certainly are, Jen. The connections are not there. And just the amount of ball that they're having to place back. There's no front option on, which means there's no penetrating forward. But we do get a great pressure of the South Africans. That's it. Set up his side. Oh, Kala being unmarked, not marking a player. Really good movement by the New Zealand shooters. Very structured and with intent. Oh, great shot by Wilson. A shot there of Grace Wicky, Mila Roeli Buchanan, and of course, Sudu Fitzpatrick there, the, well, travelling reserves now. Of course, Wicky ruled out of the tournament team. Oh, Karaka, that's a beautiful ball into Venter, and she has got the radar on. 15 all. And it's not behind goal defence. Instruction, goalkeeper. That ball's got to go in much quicker from Crampton to Wilson. When she delays it, she invites Pumza Marwini to come and, and have a devil at it. Goalkeeper. And he's breaking, wing attack. But he's with contact wing defence. Oh, Berger. She was a bit late on that ball. I love how Nicole always just lets the ball go. Oh, another so shot by anybody. But uh, Nicole just letting that ball go and so creative. She really doesn't get phased by defenders. She likes to, to test the water. And you can never know what to expect from her. She's very unpredictable on attack. And this is a great shot here. End on of just seeing how many Silver Ferns are standing still and not penetrating forward for the ball. More work's needed to be done. As you can see, the South Africans are dictating where they're going. And this noise is incredible, and that's how you use your eighth player. You make a racket. Contact centre. Goalkeeper. Goal That's it. Yep. Oh, really sneaky by Canazio, but getting an inch closer. Time injury. Goal keeper. Make sure there's a. Now this is an interesting switch. Jane Watson on for Kelly Jury. Yeah, I think a good switch for the Ferns. Jury just was getting a little bit late in the contest there. Jane Watson, you know, she hunts, she comes out. Goalkeeper, goalkeeper, address that, please. Perhaps some please. energy that this defence team will need for the Silver Ferns. So, seven minutes remaining in this second half. 18-15, we're back to that three-goal margin. What can South Africa do? Because they haven't let it get any further than that yet. Oh, Berger, so close. The consistency on attack for me. Nicole Taliat with another one. Taking the shooting responsibility as Fainter was missing. But she's leading that attack so well. Now well, this is hard yakka for the New Zealand attack. But that one... Seems to have got through a little bit of a smile on the face of Ekanasio. That's Maya Wilson's mum. 
I'm sure she's feeling a lot more anxious than she looks. A good attempt by Ekinasi Bayern just to disrupt center. the ball. Oh, Kanaka! Goalkeeper, Konka. Nice tip, she just couldn't pick it up. New Zealand, the Injury wing attack. Yeah, another change here from the Ferns. Whitney Soonis coming onto that wing attack position. She might inject just a bit more speed that they're lacking and Vani's someone contact, that can just look in. Which is what they need to do. Contact, goal defence. Yeah, Pretorius. Doing it yeah, just to keep Ekinasio out of the shooting position. What a great contest between those two. Set. Two of the on greats. The original set. Of course, Carla Pretorius also having been coached by Nolin Torua at the Lightning and Pumsma Maweni as well. Oh, nice work. Oh, this is interesting. In an already Venta calling time. Shooter. Yeah, Van der Berg coming on at goal shoot for Venta. So straight away we talked about the coaches pre-match, how they would tactically use the bench. And they've both done a good job so far. I think great changes from both sides. Instruction. Yeah, that was a great feed to Wilson. See this has just come on and lit the court on fire, hasn't she? She has. Yeah, that zone defense, you can almost, with precision, measure the distance between them. They're really, really good in that. And then it's also about that one-on-one -on, -one on the body as soon as someone enters that zone that New Zealand's doing very well. Contact center. Good flexion on the fence. Good start for Van der Berg. Just 22 years of age. Construction in defence. Yeah, I'm going to open a bat on that goal shooter position. 24 caps for her. She's still a young and oh, great shot Number by Canazio. Another change. In fact, wholesale changes. Wow. Here come the bibs. Yep, Berger across to goal defence and Kelly Jury on at wing defence. Phoenix Karaka goes to the bench. Well, I was going to suggest before Annie that she might have developed a taste for wing defence. Well, I think they need something in there to change the momentum of the South African attacking because they are dominating. Kaliard and uh, Vandenberg in there. They're getting good service of ball from their middies. So perhaps just that vision block of Jury might add a bit of disruption. So well, Isaac Crystal is standing to 183 meters. And Kelly Jerry quite matches that height, and I think the height oh, combination. Oh, lovely lovely Sonny Maweni. Oh, but that's the problem, isn't it, for South Africa? They do great work. Just another ball. They've got the to make sure they make it count. Yeah. Still though, you look at the turnovers, six to South Africa, seven to New Zealand, so very even in terms of turnovers. The penalty count again Just creeping up for South Africa. Inside. Wilson, oh, I was just about to say she hasn't missed a goal, but it's her first one. Oh, I don't know about that. Unlucky, Pumza Marwini getting called for that one. I think the crowd would agree with me. I did not see it. <laughs> but, well, you didn't I'm, see it. I didn't see it. <laughs> but you don't agree with it. Don't agree with it. <laughs> well, you, it's your birthday, so well, we'll let you have that one. Thank you. Thank you. Barney's obstruction centre. Here's yeah. that split of Taliyad. She gains ground. Eight from eight, Nicole Talliard hasn't missed a goal yet. Seven from seven. On 
attack in defence. Oh, nice hands, Wilson. So 24 21. Three goals in it. One minute remaining in this half. Oh, and the nice little tip from Heffernan. I was thinking she was having a quiet game. In defence, you need to address your timing. Yeah, just the placement of the passing from the Ferns. The South Africans getting good hand to ball there. Strider. New nice Zealand touch. fans will be seeing a bit more of her next year coming to play for the Southern Steel. Contact goalkeeper. See ya. Goalkeeper, she's stopping her, yeah? Pumza already on 10 penalties. Uh, Jonte Stradom on 9. I think those are the two highest. But it, oh, look at that outside hand. It's beautiful from Heffernan. Textbook. Ah, oh, that's nice combination between Wilson and Ekanasio. But I think the score at half-time is going to flatter New Zealand. And Bongi Msomi does nothing because they want the centre pass when they come back. So 26-21 New Zealand. As I said, it's a slightly flattering score. But wow, what a game. See there. They look as though they have been through a little bit. So let's go down now to Amanda Mainhart, who has a New Zealand silver fern with her. Yeah, great first half we saw from you there, not missing a shot. What do you think you did right, right at the end of that second quarter to pull away? I think what you're seeing is South Africa's doing a really nice man on man day and now attacking in, so it means that. We're not able to get our um, goal attack, we're going to take connections as fluid as we used to. So I think it shows that I need to come out and help out a bit more. So proud of what I'm doing, but we're still at a whole nine 30 minutes to go. Best of luck, thank you. I'm joined now by Pumza Maweni. Pumza, massive defensive effort from the Proteas at the moment. What was the instruction to you going into this game? Oh man, that's to stay man on man and play the short ball through quarter attack. I think um, that's what we did in the first quarter. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow, Pumza Maweni, she always gives 100%, doesn't she? The goalkeeper. And this is a great event here at the Netball World Cup 2023. This is why you want to have it at home, because you get such fantastic support. It is half time. It is New Zealand leading South Africa 26-21. This, 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 uh, this. You can't, you can't shoot like that. Rather just go and be like, okay, it's wrong, okay. But it means you don't want to shoot. Mojo back.
We promised you action, and action is exactly what you're getting right here on SABC2. It is the Spa Proteas taking on the Silver Ferns of New Zealand. And oh, my friend, the netball we have seen, you can tell that it is the best on the planet. Yes, the 2023 Netball World Cup is indeed delivering. And of course, we can be excited as South Africa because the girls are holding their own 21-26. However, this is never what lets us know who the winner is, right? Because, Alsha, you always call the third quarter what again? Championship quarter, <laughs> yes. <laughs> That is where we find things out. Yes. Uh, ladies, let's take a look at what exactly has been going down because we've got some of the stats, we've got the results, and in terms of what we have for South Africa right now, half time, South Africa versus New Zealand, 21-26. Earlier on, we saw Jamaica taking on Trinidad and Tobago, 89-26. Chinna, could that be a little bit of an example of what could happen with us today? Because we do know that we took on Trinidad and Tobago. Mm -hmm. We also took on Jamaica. Yeah. And there was, of course, those differences in the score. Yeah. Is there absolutely anything that we can take from that? Or is it a completely different ball game, like you said earlier on? Completely different ball game. I mm. think with this game that we saw today, um, the first quarter was electrifying. Yes. It was so amazing. The energy, the supporters, as you said, um, our eighth players are doing so well. And then I see we let, we drop, we let it drop a little yeah. in the second quarter. Um, just a lack of concentration. I think the girls just need to regroup. Um, and we're still in it. It's such an exhilarating match. Yeah. And it's so vibrant to watch the girls play. It genuinely is. I mean, even the fact that when I mentioned sometime into the Q1, I was like, guys, no intercepts from us. And at that point, New Zealand had like one or two. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, Boom. everyone was shouting, defense, yeah. defense. Boom, Zamaweni came in and she was like, Zanele, I'm going to show you. Thank you yeah. very much. <laughs> but also, what do you make of Q1? Uh, particularly for us, we also know that the shooting circle hasn't been our strongest. Yeah, no, I think uh, the fence was really impressive. Mm -hmm. I also like the way Bongi Misomi is carrying that ball through mm -hmm. the middle for us. Yes. She's really having a cool head. She's playing back uh, and carrying the ball whenever the, 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 the fence get that ball to her. Now we see the New Zealand defenders there on screen. What I like about Maya Wilson of New Zealand and what she's doing really well is protecting that space underneath the post. Yeah. And I, I would really like to see the switches between Pumza and Carla to maybe mm -hmm. happen a slightly earlier mm -hmm. because they are in a position to switch. But Ekinasio at this st stage is just sweeping the circle and then getting the ball to Maya Wilson. Yeah. I think Nicole Talliart is playing a massive game. You know, she's taking a lot of responsibility on the in the circle shooting. Yes. Uh, Ina has been struggling to get the balls in. She gets the ball and then mm. uh, it just seems like a rhythm is slightly yeah. off. Yeah. But you know, it's a high pressure situation. But um, Nicole Talia is really doing well at the moment. She genuinely is. Her and Wongi are sticking out for us, as we had yeah. said earlier yeah. on. But I want to come to you, China. Is it fair to say that if we had gotten all of the goals in that have been shot into the hoop, we would be somewhere else right now? Um, if we play the what if game, we will, I think, cause ourselves heart attacks. Uh, it, we are where we are, and I think what we have to focus on as the girls is just to um, finish off the shots, definitely. Yeah. Don't put hesitation into it. Um, this is a big match, so we need big match temperaments to come through. Can I ask you, why do you think it is that Norma Plummer decided not to make any changes going into Q2, especially seeing that certain parts weren't necessarily working, particularly the circle? Most of the time you find coaches that um, want the players to just find their rhythm mm. and to gel. Um, in matches like this, because it's such a high intense game, you don't want to make too many changes because it throws the girls off their rhythm and we're trying to um, stay in it and give them a good fight. And we yeah. also ha have always been saying it's a 60 minute game. So these are the games where you see who are your players, who you can stick them out throughout the whole game. Yeah. So um, we'll see a, a, a change or two here and there. We saw Al Murray coming on for Ina Marie. Yes. Uh, but yet again, I don't think um, a lot of changes should happen. Mm. Mm, and that championship quarter. Coach, where would you take us from here in terms of the team that you're seeing right now, especially after what we've seen after the first half? Yeah, look, I hope we can keep the intensity up. The, this, the, the reach of the zone defence that the, the Ferns is setting up is really, really wide. Yeah. And I think AZ is doing really well at the moment in penetrating that, that zone and then breaking it by driving into the pocket. So one of the New Zealand defenders have to to shift out of that zone and yeah. that breaks up the zone which offers up opportunity for Bongi then to come in and play the short game mm. and then obviously feeding off the edge of the circle that is massively important for us because the further you feed away the the, 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 the pass that's going in then becomes a more of a 50-50 pass and then the defense of the New Zealanders will mm. be um, you know capitalizing on it yeah. but at the moment you know New Zealand is really playing very clinical there's not a lot of mistakes and errors yeah. so we will have to be very clinical ourselves and make sure that we score the balls that we we can and the few that we're going to turn 
we have to make sure that we can convert those as well. 100%. And can I just say, Wilson is stepping into those shoes so nicely. We all know Grace Nweke was the one that would have been in goal shooter right now. But she did so well, even in just this first half. But let's take a look at some of the stats from the first half in terms of what's been happening with our shooting accuracy as well as the turnovers and penalties. I do want to say I don't think the penalty and contact it's too bad given the team that we're up against. Sheena, what do you say? I agree fully with you, Zanele. I think our penalty um, rate and contract, you can see something the girls have been focusing on throughout the whole week. Yeah. And they're getting it right, slowly but surely. Um, but for me, what stand out is the position. Um, mm. Our position rate over there is a bit lower than New Zealand, uh, showing that we need to uh, cherish the balls that we have and utilize them wisely. Mm, indeed. And of course, I did not actually expect 43% to be our position, especially given the fact that, you know what, it's only five difference, or rather five goal difference when we look at the score. Mm -hmm. But Alsha, what do you make of this? Yeah, no, uh, and especially listening to Pumza, you know, the, the, the coach instructed them to be close. Mm -hmm. So you will have a, quite a high penalty count. Um, you know, and so that's a bit expected. At the moment, I think that, you know, the, the, the New Zealand centre court is just driving that mid court yeah. tremendously. And I think John Tay is struggling a little bit to keep up. So maybe, maybe a change on the wing of things. <laughs> Shadeen, maybe? Fresh legs. Yeah. Uh, I'm all for that. And also then the experience. Because Carla and Shadeen carries the ball for us through the middle. Mm -hmm. And that, that offers Bungi a little bit of more time to get in front and then help uh, to link with the defence. Yeah. So if it was me, I would have probably uh, looked on changing a wing defence for us. Yeah, and Captain Fantastic is indeed being fantastic. Oh. Mongi is having one of her best games that we've seen in the whole mm. entire tournament. And crazy enough, it's our most difficult game. Mm -hmm. But that's when the captain should show up, right? I think that's why she's wearing that C, not just for centre, but for the captain. Um, with Mongi, I think on centre, she um, it allows a more um, space for her to be able to move around. Yeah. Whereas I know she's a specialist wing attack, but centre right now, is she's filling in those shoes so well. She's carrying that ball. She's putting the team together and leading them from the middle. I love that. Like we said, Captain Fantastic, she is the one that is leading our ladies. And right about now, we jump back straight into the Silver Ferns versus the Spa Proteus with the hope that the Spa Proteus will indeed take it. All female broadcast crew. And look at them. And it really is, it is a wonderful achievement here that they have pulled off in South Africa because it is no small thing. That's a wonderful moment, and that is a wonderful crowd, so full of colour, and he's having a great time, and is making all the difference for this South African side. <laughs> Underway in the second half, New Zealand in possession. Contact centre. And a nice little... Drive the along the baseline from Ekanasio. Goalkeeper the side. Already picking up a change. See that Kanyiswa Chawane has replaced Bongi Somi on centre. And um, yeah, that's the only two changes for South Africa after Ryan the first half. Goalkeeper instruction. Now Sunas in the Flux pocket. In center outside. Oh, that's quick. And I think that's what they have to do, New Zealand, is South attack Africa. with speed. <laughs> and what do you think? Vanessa, what do you think the message would have been from Norma Plummer to the South Africans? Well, I, I've got a little suspicion that Anna might be with Norma, so let's ask her. I do. Norma Plummer with me now. Thanks for your time. Norma, well, what a great start from your side. What's working well? Well, we're trying to keep in the game, and certainly we're keeping New Zealand honest. <laughs> Where That's can it. you see improvements in the second half from your side? Oh, yeah, we've, we've got to go in with a little bit more on the shot. We've, we've missed quite a few, and we really need to nail those. You can't miss too many because New Zealand's nailing the shot. You made a change in the centre position, was that just to mix things up? Absolutely, you know, nailing's changing, trying to keep fresh legs, also to throw off our defence where we can do the same. Thanks for your time, Norma. Thank you. Well, that was a great intercept from Heffernan, right, because it, and it was needed from a New Zealand point of view because Marweni had just pulled off an even better one.
under the basket. South Africa. And there it is. That's the one of Tumza Maweni. But again, South Africa gave it up. And there's oh, what Jane Watson contact, does. Contact centre. And that was great balance from Watson. No, she center, went for the ball. And she had to land oh, solidly on one sorry. leg and center release contact, it before she got pulled for stepping. But she's got to go back beside the centre. So that's Chawaini standing next to Watson. Away come New Zealand once more. Contact, goal defence. Yeah, they're just a little bit late, the South Africans. Yeah, they're there. They're there on the bench. Barney, it's just contact, there's a little bit of a late. Offside. Now, it was a late tackle just That's because well, his body's rolling. Tackle. It was a late tackle. <laughs> but they're also late on the timing when they actually enter the space to get that interception from. And yeah, it's just that execution that's lacking. Oh, but talking about execution, Jane Watson, take a bow. Oh, well done. That was nicely done. It was just ignored all that tussle by Sunis. I think Sunis has done a good job coming on. She's just injected a little bit of something down this attack end that the Ferns needed. Oh, and there's the lovely feed into Wilson at the back. She's got good release, good vision. Sunis is working for the Ferns. South Africa. Contact goal defence. Where you are. Well, 31-23. Nice entry from Toliad. She has barely put a foot wrong. So again, no... Sunis just showing her speed, resetting. Wilson not oh. ready on that front. Carla Pretorius. That was classic Pretorius. Oh, when the ball does the dance around that circle and the goalpost, I just... Well, it's great to oh, Carla Pretorius, absolute class with that interception. Well-timed, because I was getting a little bit worried that New Zealand just might, might be pulling away a little bit more. And it is Carla with that interception, just giving a bit of energy and injection into the South African side. Inside backwards. Gosh, that's a very distinctive style, isn't it? Of Tolyard. And she finishes this one. So 31 26 back to a five goal game. My word, you would think that the roof was going to lift. Contact, goal shooter, Ben. Oh, Maya Wilson get called for goal, goal shooter out of play for contact. Oh, you see, and this is what is dogging South step Africa. Up. They Where get a turnover are. and then make Go. an error. Impact, yeah, that was back. a soft turnover too. It was a stepping, I think, from Mawani. Got the rebound this time, Marwini. Look how quickly the South Africans can get the ball down court. Karen Berger. Oh, she's 39 years of age, but again, they cannot score. Off that turnover ball, South Africa. Yep, that's the issue here. We're turning enough ball. South Africa's turning enough. It's just not capitalizing on it. And Watson again with a beautiful interception. There we go. Another turnover. Jenny, let's see if this one can make its way through the goalpost. I think Wilson might have something to say about being held by Pumza Maweni, but not called. And it's offside goal attack. Managing defense obstruction. This is a lovely view down the court. And there's 
is the hoist between Watson and Berger, of course. It's the tactics combination in the shooting uh, defensive end for the Ferns. And there it is, South Africa. They inch closer. Thirty-one twenty-seven. 27 Oh, I'm right about being unmarked in that goal shooting circle for almost, which for me it felt like a lifetime, but just that vision to get that ball into her, but it is South Africa with a back-to-back -back goal, only three goals in it. Well, they've done a great job here, South Africa. Final distraction center. Uh, Rising to the call goal. of their fans. Goalkeeper, come around. And they're leading this third quarter, 7 5. Goalkeeper beside. South and that's a steady end goal for New Zealand. 32 28. What a game. Oh, Karen Berger, she needed that one. Contact, wing defence, centre third. So straight and pulled again. And again, the Silver Ferns are just getting to the top here, around the top of the circle, and it just cannot oh. get it in. And that was Contact, so Pumza. skillful of Pumza Maweni. She oh. timed it, ran around the back of goal. Wilson. Victorious and Strident doing a fantastic job on the outside of the circle, and Maweni's picking up the crumbs. Yes, yeah, South Africa doing well, keeping it very short and sharp and inching down. away on that attack. And Almeray van der Berg is so solid under the post at the moment. She's really just gaining confidence with every single shot. Wow, well, that is all sorts of problems for the Silver Fern attack end. Well, that was a rare error from Ekanasio. We don't normally see her throwing ball away. Contact, we attack, centre third. Wow, what a test this is for New Zealand. <laughs> Vanderberg safe under the hoop. I feel like this commentary box is shaking, Jenny. The crowd is just going berserk at the moment. Two goals in it, but a little bit over five minutes to go. It is South Africa with the momentum. Well, those ones have got to go in from Heffernan into Wilson. She's holding the Hold screen, time. and then when they don't go, the having to swing it across the circle edge. New Zealand. That was breaking advantage, and then you footwork centre. So a little explanation there from umpire Gary Burgess as to why the call was made that way. Breaking and then advantage. Contact South Africa Centre. Well, Anna spoke about it earlier. We spoke about the coaches having that technical battle and decision making, but all the coaches actually played. And oh, in, as apart from the assistant coach Debbie Fuller, no, she also played in 1995. And Anna, you too. I did. I did. We were all there actually. Sharon Kearney, the physio, Deb Snowles, and I. Yeah, but isn't Kenny also attending his sixth World Cup this year? Yeah, crazy. That's yeah. incredible. Yeah, you talk about the, the coaches and their technical tip for tat. Like, interesting when we were talking to Norma yeah, and I said, you know, you made that change in that centre position. And she said, well, if Knowles is making the changes, and it's I contact can too. It's like they're going one for one. Contact centre. And there she is the in board, the background, Norma Plummer, Nicole Cusack. Yeah, they've got to shut down Tariad. She is doing a fantastic job. And here's the change. Look at this, Jen. The captain goes off. And right. Tiana Maturo, who has come in to replace the injured Grace Wicke, comes on at goal attack. Well, what a moment for Tiana Maturo. Contact, re-attack. 
and she talked about almost feeling guilty coming into the side, but her mother said, look, Waikamanu, you've Give just got to get over yourself and get out there and play. And that's certainly a strength of Maturo. Contact, she's defense. not only physically strong, she's got a presence in that circle, but she's mentally tough for someone so young. Certainly, Maya Wilson, Mat uh, Tiana Maturo, they've played together in under-21s. They have an understanding, but they now have a job to do for New Zealand. And South Africa will be throwing everything at them. Contact. Goal attack. Obstruction wind defense. <laughs> Go defense. That's it. So fun fact, the biggest win in World Cup in a World Cup match in history goes to New Zealand Funny with 108 goals against Northern Ireland in the first World Cup in 1963. New Zealand has been part of the netball culture for so long and it's so evident in their game. They play with so much intelligent play, so much creativity and so much composure. There's another C word for you, Anna. Well, that was a nice phase of play. You talk about creativity, Vanessa. That was good use of ball speed and timing from Karen Berger. A good win. Again, they just get it to the top and can't get it in the circle. Bunnies obstruction. Obstruction goal attack. Bunnies wing attack obstruction. Well, Maturo keen to get on with it. Yeah, you can tell, can't you, Jen? She's like, give me the ball. That's a good sign. New Zealand. Well, she's never been, uh, to be fair, she's never been short on confidence or never appeared to be. And I think I do mean that as a compliment. In a game like this, you don't want to go all nimini pimini. Chawani's oh, on the deck, but she's up again. 37-32. Here comes South Africa. Hold time. It's with the wing defence. Injury to the centre. Well, it looks like Bongi's going to come on at wing attack. Oh, I wonder if she's got a poke in the eye. Yeah, she's holding her eye. Two minutes to left you. eye. Good some ice to it, so there's a real reshuffle of bits. Gleasel goes to centre and Somi comes on at wing attack. Yeah, believe it or not, but Somi made a debut on wing attack. She's actually a highly rated wing attack and he's oh, actually, so so actually a centre. So these are the positions that I would also see them quite a lot play, playing in their domestic. Yeah, I mean, it looked worse than it was, really. Oh, great shooting from Vandenberg. Yeah, that's a good drive from his head. Chrysal, good vision by Chrysal into Almeray van der Berg. This is much better on the attacking side. Good patience by the South African attackers. They're short, 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 and then they do the drive. They go long, great top of the circle. But Maya Wilson, long bomb. Oh, wow. Short. Oh, that gave me chills, Anna. Well, that is a confident Maya Wilson, but my word, this is an absolute onslaught. New Zealand versus South Africa. They are going flat out. So much at stake. They both want to make the semi-finals of the side. There's your quarter score as well. New Zealand got the first one by one. New Zealand the second by four. And look at that. South Africa take the third by one. Well, let's see what we can hear here. Thank you. 
Well, welcome back to the International Convention Centre Netball World Cup 2023. And this is what the World Cup is all about. 38-34, just four goals between these two sides. A place in the semi-final at stake because if New Zealand win this, they will make the semi-final. It's not quite so cut and dried for South Africa. If they win, they then would need to beat Uganda tomorrow and hope that New Zealand and Jamaica lose both there. So it, it, there are complicating factors. I think the main thing to remember is win. Yep, no one wants to play and lose. And at the moment, both of these teams are playing exceptional netball. We are really entertained here at the CTICC. And Jenny, that third quarter was the first quarter that New Zealand had lost in this whole World Cup. And then fun fact, South Africa has not lost in a fourth quarter yet. So we're setting up for a great last quarter then. Is, is that what you're saying, Vanessa? <laughs> oh, you know, we spoke in the opening about the drama of today. And I think after this fourth quarter, there's going to be drama regardless. Simone, Simone Forbes will be happy. She wanted drama. And that's good start to the fourth quarter by South Africa. What can New Zealand deliver? Oh, this is so exciting. Only 15 minutes standing between a possible victory for either team. And uh, only 15 minutes. It's, it goes by so quickly. And that's what we haven't seen enough of from the Fern Sooners. Just looking over into Wilson. She needs to hold on that tee. Barney construction goal attack. Well, I'm picking up a bit more of a man-to-man -man defense from New Zealand. No one really hunting. Oh, I'm going to open a bath, definitely oh. taking an opportunity. But Nicole Tata's on the floor, out of court. Yeah, that was great teamwork between Watson and Berger, pulling that one off. These are the crumbs Barney's that the Silver Ferns need to convert. Barney's doing defensive instruction. Just look at the quick hands of Maturo. Already she's just injected a little bit of that pace, but we did hear from Knowles in that break. She said, make sure that you put the paws on. Turnovers did creep up in that quarter from the Silver Ferns. Yeah, that was an interesting instruction, wasn't it? Just think about the paws. 
I think it's more think about changing the pace when it's coming down so fast at times. There's something to be said just for mixing it up and putting those full stops on. Gosh, it looks very, very tense in there. Oh, have to go back. Well, the crowd, well, they'll grab at anything, won't they? And you can't blame them. Well, keeper. The South African defenders are so good, so experienced. You have the experience of Kunza Maweni. She's standing on 112 caps. Nikara Pretoria is getting a century on. 102. So... In the combination on defence, there's over 200, 222 to be exact, caps for the South African side. So a lot of experience, Jenny. Contact, goal defence at the top. Inside at the top. New Zealand's most capped player is uh, goal Gina Crampton, 67 caps. New Zealand. And look at this crowd. They are singing. They are having a great time here at the International Convention Centre. And look oh. at that, they're having to go line right back to Jane Watson at that transverse line. Such is the pressure that these South African players are putting on them. Well, this must be warming the cockles of Norma Plummer's heart. Oh, time. Green defence, that's persistent contact. It's a caution. Any further incidents in the year. So that's a caution for Stratham. Yeah, Stratham's sitting on 15 penalties, the highest of any player in this game. So I think it was a, about time that Obstruction the caution would have been dealt. So 11 minutes remaining. Those New Zealand fans, they look a bit tense. Center, center I spotted Aurin van Dijk, South African-born New center Zealand third. netball legend Bund in the crowd. She's been loving it. She's taken a tour group over. One step but, in um, goal defence. It is another chance for South Africa to get a little bit closer. Nicole Tallard misses on that occasion. And that's a fabulous rebound by Karen Berger. Bunnings moving off. Another player that New Zealand has gratefully accepted from South Africa. Bunnings centre obstruction. And look at the defence of Pretorius on Ma and Mawaini on Wilson. Uh, making it hard for her to get the ball. Contact to the top centre. Oh, that's brilliant from Marweni. Great outside hand, Jenny. That was a marvel to watch. And through court speed on the on that occasion was really good. The transitioning from the defence to the attack was really, really good. So South Africa building on that momentum, but the through court transition was just phenomenal. She's burrowing, and my word, she is having the game of her life. 39 years of age. She's got a couple of intercepts to her name on 15 penalties, so again, she'll need to be careful. And look at Taliyad. She's only missed the one goal so far. And she's dominating down here as Jane Watson. She gets a tip. Obstruction goal defence. Oh, don't you love watching Watson and Berger go about their business? Yeah, they're a great combination. And I just see Tyler using that baseline drive so efficiently. And the two defenders, Berger and Watson, really shutting that down on the second occasion. Oh, unmarked. Mutura. Mutura is really using the midcourt drives well. Hold time, injury New Zealand. Well, in fact, center. I think that is Tiana Maturo's first goal. There's Berta de Kock. 
in the front row. I had a lovely chat to her the other day. And there's a change here in the middle. Maddie Gordon comes in at centre for Kate Heffernan. Another good change contact, goal from Nolan Kodua. Gordon hasn't had much court time, so she should inject some fresh legs. Oh, Jane Watson. She's hunting, isn't she? Uh, Van der Merg just so strong on that baseline dodge. Oh, beautiful shot, Van der Merg. There's a long way to go in this game. Oh, quick hands, Maturo. Contact, goalkeeper. Goalkeeper, goalkeeper. You need to address that now. So, a little bit of a... I don't know what's that, a word of warning, I guess, from umpire Burgess. Yeah, not one defender going up for that block. So, the four. Whole, the whole New Zealand bench, sorry, Jenny, look at them. They're all warming up. So, maybe expecting more changes from New Zealand. I think we might see a change soon for South Africa. Smith is standing up with the goal defence bib on, so we may see Victoria. Yeah. Here it is. She's it's coming off. Injury to the goal defence. And you don't see that too often, do you, on the international stage? Carla Victoria's going to that the bench. Contact. Oh, that's strong from Sunas. I do think Norma is opting for a bit of height in the circle, especially with maybe a rebound. So Nicola Smith is quite tall. She's you know one nine two meters tall she's not got a lot of experience but sitting with 22 caps well now that's a very interesting call he's called contact oh, this is a wayward pass anyway this is a terrific game so exciting edge of your seat stuff Contact, wing defense, attack. You can see the relationship Sunas and Maturo have. They play with each other at the pulse. They're doing those give and gets as we see Mawini. That's a great back from Mawini. Melt. Oh, this is thrilling. Body destruction, goal attack. Yeah, the South Africans, again with that short and sharp, give and goes. Oh, that was a great right one. Oh, that's brilliant. Fantastic work on the circle edge. Those ones are hard to get as a wing defence. You know, Jean Day Stratum, such a hard Contact, worker, finally getting her hands to it. Oh, such a good haul by Van And you Number can see five. the rep there from Jane Watson. So here comes, here comes South Africa. And he's breaking goal attack and wing attack. Contact centre. Oh, unlucky Gordon. Barney's participation centre. Oh, and very nearly, Burger. That was very nearly brilliant. But look at this. We're down to three goals. 45-42. Can I remind you, we can have draws at this stage of the competition. Instruction, wing defence, forward wing defence. Contact, goalkeeper. Hold time. Goalkeeper, that's intentional contact. You're holding her arm. It's a caution. Any further instances? And you did not wonder when okay. that might come for Maweni. Both of you. Instruction, goal defence. Yep. Oh, my hands are all sweaty. I'm so nervous. There's four minutes left in this game. Well, we talked oh. about the C's at the beginning of the match, didn't we? Clinical, calm, composure, control. Money's Who's going to have that composure in the last three and a half minutes center. of this game? Well, I think Nolene Tarua looks fairly calm. Contact oh! Advantage offside. Don't keep her. Oh, away it's she goes. Don't outside do the circle. Just holding her arm, yeah. Oh, 
Oh, great rebound by Van der Bash. There we go. Well, South Africa will keep on playing no matter the time. But it's about, there's a time limit to this. So three and a half minutes. The crowd is absolutely going bonkers. There's and only a time here for South Africa. You've got only three goals. You can do that in three minutes easily. Contact goal defence. Wilson for me showing a lot of composure in that goal shoot and position. You could just see there. Been very calm under the hoop. New Zealand. to watch the South Africans leaving no stone unturned oh, a no look pass by Nicole Taliak into Van der Berg there's one in it one in it it is exactly right and a standing so 46 47 New Zealand by a solitary goal at the moment a minute and a half on the clock Oh, oh, there's the tip from straight on. What a tip. She just didn't get her hands to it, but she managed to get it. Well, if you were a New Zealander, you'd be taking as long as you can here. Contact, they keep up. Hold time. Oh, now this... Well, keep it beside. Oh, my Winnie, very slow to get up. Oh, she just slipped. That's all right. Whew. Well, okay. this game. Out of play, wait for the whistle. Stop two goal defense. I mean, both with one you. minute left. Both, no, no. Will we see a repeat of 1995, Jenny? Well, last time South Africa it's beat a, New Zealand was well, a long time ago. No premonition here, but this was such a good game. Another successful goal by Wilson. She's been rock solid for New Zealand. Well, this is a very different game. To 1995. Look how quick the South Africans are with the ball. Taliad knows and they've got to get it in. And they've got to do it quickly. Contact centre as Barney's offside. Hold time. Oh, cool, calm, composure. And that's what I hope that these attackers would do. And clock. And clock, Jenny. And clock. Barney's contact goes deeper. New Zealand. Well, if there's any time when the Silver Ferns need to hold on to the ball, it's now. Oh, Bums oh, oh, my oh, my oh my lord! I can't believe it! Now it's about composure. Well, they've got to be calm here, the South Africans. And what can New Zealand defenders do? Talia for the jump oh. With the oh, line bonus! Draw. And that is a famous draw. Look at Norma Plummer. She is delighted. You talk about famous victories. This is a famous draw. What a game. What a game, South Africa. 48 goals apiece. Pumza Maweni. Well, she should be made a dame or something. She was absolutely outstanding. And look at that score. Your eyes do not deceive you wherever you may be sitting. Whether you're in New Zealand, whether you're in South Africa or anywhere else. A fabulous match.
Well, I think the New Zealanders, they look a bit stunned. Let's see if we can pick up anything from in the huddle. Ignacio, and I'm sure that bloke did a lot to help that team home, but they will not be able to believe it. Of course, what we have to try now and work out is what does it mean? Because I suspect a draw might not be quite enough for South Africa. Regardless, Jenny, this has been a historic moment for South African netball. Well, the New Zealanders just look a bit stunned. Well, let's go down to the sideline now. They probably can't hear themselves, but let's see what Amanda Mainhead has to say. Bongi, I'm going to shout right now because I don't think you can hear me. What an incredible effort tonight from your girls. How much does this result mean to you as a team? Oh, it's actually mixed feelings from my side. This just shows how great we can be when we think on the day. Super proud of the girls for coming out really hard today and really was just wanting this badly. It would have been great if it was a win, but geez, this performance really showed how much as far pro as we can go out there and show how, what we can give. Congrats and thank you very much. I'm joined by the captain of the Silver Ferns, Amelia Ann. What a game. And can you just tell us a bit of your thoughts of the result you got at the end of the day? Yeah, I mean, honestly, what a crowd. We knew this is what we were coming up against. We knew it was going to be a doozy of a game. Honestly, South Africa really brought it. We've got so much respect for them. Now you see the end result, there's so much heart and passion in there. I thought we really had our own. We put faith in our girls to go out there and do it. Uh, I, um, yeah, I think, you know, we've just got to move on to what's next now. And uh, yeah, we've got a big game tomorrow. Oh, thank you and best of luck for tomorrow. Thank you. And... Uh, well, I think the player of the match is somewhere i don't think she's quite turned up yet but uh, she will be coming she will be very very happy and she gets pulled out nicole tolyard well she was super 15 from 18 here she is now with amanda nicole you shot that winning goal or, or the draw goal i have to say what did it mean when you take that shot? How did you feel? What was your thoughts taking it? So much stress, um, but I went back to training, thought about the technique. I think it's all those eyes closed shots that we're practicing, all the far shots Coach Norma had us practicing. I knew I had to take it. There was nothing else that I could do, and I just hoped it went in. Well, i got to ask you, what does this result mean to you and the rest of your team? I think it just shows the team that we are good enough, and we are here to compete, and we are here fighting just like every other team. Well, congrats and best of luck for tomorrow. Thank you. Well, yes, tomorrow. Who can be thinking about tomorrow now? South Africa will play Uganda, New Zealand, uh, Jamaica. So aren't they two games to look forward to? Well, the New Zealand fans, they just, they look a bit stunned because I don't think they would have been expecting that result. So there you have it. So New Zealand, well, there it is. So they're on seven points. South Africa five, so a win for South Africa tomorrow would give them seven points, and then it would...